only see one area of pastoring yet. Yeah, I was talking to one of the overseers today, and, I, and we were saying this one day. We got a lot of bishops, we got a lot of people that can preach with a pastor. Yeah. And you got some of the best, the best preachers trying to pastor, and all God called them to do was preach the gospel. You gotta understand that God is calling us to a place and time where we get and we get to a place where we understand that when He speaks, we answer. When He speaks, we move. Y'all not talking to me. We gotta get to the place where we believe the report of the Lord. So I preached this message some months, well, some years ago actually, and I preached the message, my victory is no longer buffering. I want you to tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, my victory is no longer buffering. Well, a lot of us, we, of course, we are we are YouTube fanatic. We watch YouTube. We Google stuff. You know, we do all this stuff. And our lives now have became more technology. Uh, we're stuck on technology more than anything. Technology is what we answer. So it answers our questions. Anything. Amen. Anybody ever watch YouTube and you was connected to a Wi-Fi or you was on your personal uh, internet service and you started to buffer? Uh, you, you started to buffer in the middle of watching something, in the middle of looking at something, you started to buffer. There's an ending of the show, but you couldn't finish watching the show until the buffering was over. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. And you gotta understand the God, all he told me to tell the people tonight is that your victory is no longer buffering. Come yeah, on. there's an end of the show for you, and it's not going to be what you saw at the beginning. It's not going to be what you see right now. The Lord is saying that your victory is no longer buffering. Here in Second Peter three and nine, the Lord is not slack concerning.